lumberjack and I'm okay. The lumberjack I all and night and I finish. work all day. <laughs> Why are you singing that lumberjack song, Johnny? Because you got a lumberjack with us. A lo oh, that's right. Look at that. Look, he's busted out the flannel now, too. And it's the Monty Python's Lumberjack song. That's right. So, um, <laughs> the Lumberjack has brought us a beer today. What beer did you bring us, sir? So, I brought from uh, Edward in uh, Williamsburg, next to my house, the Jubilee 8. You moved? Jubilee 8. Uh, <laughs> it's on the way, actually. He lives at Bush Gardens. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Under look. the Loch Ness Monster. I might you. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like bush, but that's another story, not beer. Would that be yeah. Anheuser Busch Gardens? No, it's a <laughs> bush. bush. <laughs> Anyways, so this is their anniversary beer, like they're saying their Jubilee, what is it, eight now? Um, the last version, is, uh, version of this was aged in bourbon barrels. This one is aged in rum barrels. Tell them more, John. Yes, Philippe and I went to the brewery during the summer. Unfortunately, Philippe had to drive, so he didn't really get to partake in the large glass that I did uh, of Jubilee, and it was very good. It's a Belgian strong dark ale. It's annual, like I said, it was in a bourbon barrel, and now it's in aged in rum cast. 10% ABV, 20 to 50% 20 to 50 IBUs, and they call it their brewer's choice, something brewer's reserve beer. So. This one I looks like it was it. it was hand corked too. <clears throat> judging <laughs> judging by the custom plain cork. Yes. So what do we have appearance wise on this beer? It is really super dark brown. It had about like a finger head. Now it's down to about a quarter. When you swirl it, eh, getting a little bit of uh, glass lacing and decent alcohol lace curtaining down the inside. Typical looking sort of Belgian straw, you know, yeah, kind of like that. You know, ruddy river water brown kind of look, but nice looking beer, just the same. Yeah. See what's up in the aroma department. It's not rum. Yes, definitely. And I think they aged this for close to a year. Yeah, it's something like that. Yeah, on this. So the noise in the background, you sounds like jets is the water heater because it's 12 out right now. So it's a good good night for a Belgian strong dark ale. Okay, the water heater. No, that's the water heater and the heater going. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought, <coughs> said, you said, I thought you said water heater. No, no, the one sound like a jet. But they don't mind. They probably really don't want to listen to I us smell, anyway. I smell maple. Yeah, I, I get like vanilla. Maple syrup. Mm -hmm. I get I get the rum. I get like like a syrupy sugar is not enough. Yeah. I get maple, but it's probably got candy, candy syrup in it. I get a little bit of dark fruits in the background, pretty faint, kind of like plummy, and and like a sweetness, like a resounding sweetness. I don't get any alcohol. Almost a molasses, not as. You know, like, maybe honey, spice bread. Yeah, like a yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Those uh, dark brown breads that are the sweet dark brown. Yeah, breads. yeah, that, those yeah. Almost like the uh, rolls you get when you go to... But, but um, not bready as much, more of the sweet. Yeah, yeah, like the crust. Yeah. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Oh. Cheers. Thanks for bringing it. To oh, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Flame on. First thing I get is like a hit of like rum booze up first. After that, I get a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of tannic oak. I get the vanilla. I'm not getting the booziness that you're getting. I'm feel, tasting the rum. You no, know, like rum boozy taste. I'm tasting the rum, but not boozy alcohol. No, not like not like fermented alcohol. Mm -hmm. It tastes like spirit alcohol. Got a dry finish, yeah. Yeah. spicy, real yeah. mild carbonation. What, you, you spicy? Get a bit of raisin in there, like like booze so The beer yeah. tastes like booze-soaked raisins. Yeah. Is what it, like if you took raisins and you put some dark rum on them, I don't know about maybe some Myers, but maybe some like gold Bacardi or something like that, and it's soaked up, and it's those, that like 
sweet sugary raisin taste mixed with like booze and, and it's like a sugar plum is dancing in your heads. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe like plum pudding. Yeah. But it, it's it's pretty warm going down, for sure, no doubt about it. You know it's a you know it's a ten percent beer every bit of it. And it's um I don't know if this is one you sell her or whatever, because it's already been in the barrel nearly a year. Um, you had it, it was a little older, wasn't it, when you had it? it was like a later release? It was, it was, it was <clears throat> July or August when we had it, so I would have to say it had an extra six months on it at the brewery. And it was different than this, um, you know, just different flavor characteristics than this one is. This one, to me, is a little more tamer. The other mm-hmm. one had really bold, more, a lot bolder flavor. Like liquor, it. liquor flavor? Yeah. Yeah. Bourbon flavor, yeah. I get like a little cola aroma almost the top, off the top of it too. You taste it, you get a little mm-hmm. bit of that taste. Um, this is just, this is a lot more milder to me. Yeah. Milder taste, milder, it, it's smooth. It's easy to drink, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Philly? Frankly, I'm kind of a little bit disappointed. Mm-hmm. Because I, I find it watery. I do too. Yeah. Pretty thin. Very thin light and yeah. than yeah. I, I would expect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is this lighter body than you guys remember it being? Yeah. When you had yes. it last time? I, I have to say it was... Mm-hmm. And it's dry. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. back end is quite dry. Yeah. And it leaves like the, the back of your throat dry. That's what I'm getting anyway. Well, buddy's over at Rate Beer. Haven't rated it. <laughs> the dude's over at. Uh, so we'll give it a hundred percent because just, it's just a ten. Released. That's probably because like it's released just True. recently. Uh, but Beer Advocate, they there's a ninety um, on this. Um, the mouthfeel is a little disappointing, but to me, it's got some good flavors. It's not alcoholic, boozy flavor taste. So uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give an 88. I, I think it's high B plus beer. I, I like the other one better. Mm-hmm. I had over the summer. The other one, the one I had in the summer, was definitely an A beer. That was what Jubilee seven, seven? I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Philly. Uh, that would be tougher than that. Mm-hmm. Tougher. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's there's the lumberjack. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. The lumberjack's coming out of it. He's got his axe out. <laughs> exactly. Or chainsaw. Chopping. Mm, yeah. Uh, I would have liked to have something a bit more thicker, creamy. You know. That's what she said. <laughs> 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 this is only the third beer in. It's going to get bad. Yeah, I didn't know about that. <laughs> I never heard that before. You never heard that's what she said? No. You see that? <laughs> All the miracles that the American culture blesses upon our the friends world. who come to visit us. We corrupt them all. <laughs> so, stick, by the way, stick around for a couple months. <laughs> right away. I would say 84. Damn. That's like, I that's told you. I told you. Right? I was, yeah, it's, it's high. That's, a, that's just into the B. B. Just in the yeah, B. 84, 85, 86. Mm. Take another taste there. I'm, I'm a little disappointed in the in the body of this and the flavor profile. And to me, for a 10% beer, it's got way too much heat to it. This may cellar well, but the recent experience we've had with cellaring Belgian-style beers like this, I mean, they get dry. And they get really dry. And... I don't know. It's the it's flavor complexity is fairly low. You know, it's a lot, a lot of one note is rum basically and spice and a little vanilla. That's it. And for their Jubilee beer, you know, you'd think it'd have more. I don't know. I you know, I have yet I've had probably 15 or 20 different beers that have been Asian rum barrels and I have yet to have one that's knocked out of the park good. I do have to say that their their other barrel aged beers are um, are a lot better than this. Um, Maybe it's something with rum barrels. Because like I said, I haven't had a rum barrel beer yet that I'd say, yeah, I want to go back and drink that again. That shit knocked my socks off. Yeah. I have just haven't been there yet with it. So I'm going to give it an 80, 85. 
No, you know what? No. 83. Wow. B minus. Look at you. Changing it on the fly. That's right. <laughs> That's right. We're going hardcore tonight, baby. You know what? The, the, it's the lumberjack that's influencing me. It's making me tough. There you go. So, we got a B plus, a B virgin on B minus, and a B minus. So, I don't know if this would sell or... I sense it would get drier. What do you think? I think it would lose some of its flavor. I'm not, I'm not sure about the dryness because... I'm not... I'm not to me, I'm not getting the dryness that you're getting. I get, you know what, the more I drink this and now I sit there, I get like a, it tastes like a rum and coke that's had ice sitting in it for a little while. Yeah. You know, you have, you have a Cubano, it tastes like that. It's got that cola taste to it, maybe like a, maybe a vanilla coke Yeah. that's had ice sitting in it, it's a rum and coke, and it's watered down, and you're drinking that last dregs yeah. of that rum and coke, that's what this reminds me of. I mean, it definitely had a different flavor of profile up front than it is right now. And the aroma is better than the taste. Yeah. I'll give it that. That's two beers like that to me. Yeah. So, have you had this beer? I doubt it, because they release very little of it, unless you live in Williamsburg and or the area. it's hard to find around, yeah. even in Virginia. <clears throat> you're, you're not getting it. So, if you've gotten it, let us know. Well, not about that other stuff you might be getting. We don't, we don't need to know about that. Yeah. But if you've had this beer, let us know what you think. Also, remember, it's important to think globally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement. We're supporting at least local craft beer movement, or at least he was, because he put his hard-earned euros or shekels or dollars out for this one franks yeah franks yes franks, yeah <clears throat> old franks old franks and he's he's not happy look he's got the lumberjack face on you see that yeah. come on outworks <laughs> so <laughs> to the next dj's brew tube maybe the next beer we'll put our happy face on but we'll for sure hit put our happy face on it so you rate comment subscribe and hit that like button hard no no ah oh, jeez i can't so now, it, it, you can't hear because of the. Uh, We've got enough, but nothing but a bunch of asphyxiating love here for you from the farts coming at us and a big ass. Peace out.